Thanks for joining us here on SportsRadio610.com. Big news of the weekend was the fact that Des Bryant, the Cowboys' number one draft pick, declined to carry Roy Williams' helmet and shoulder pads when asked after practice at Cowboys training camp. Des Bryant getting off on the wrong foot with his team, Rich. This is not the way to start your NFL career. I'm not a big hazing guy, but this is such a mild form of hazing. This is so benign. Carry the pads, play the little game. It's kind of silly, actually, when you think about it, but play the game, get your, the respect of your teammates, fit in. It's a team sport, not an individual sport. So I do think that Des Bryant made a mistake, but as someone who endured college fraternity hazing and then a year or two after that uh, was doing some hazing myself, it's some of the most regrettable stuff I've ever taken part in, so I'm not a big hazing guy. If we could rid the world of hazing, I think it'd be a better world. A lot of people have wondered if Roy Williams asking Des Bryant is the reason that Bryant refused. Roy Williams, the guy who's Des Bryant, is trying to take his job. I don't think it has anything to do with it. That said, I can't help but think the outcome would have been a little different if it was Tony Romo asking Des Bryant, Hey, kid. Can you pick up my helmet and shoulder pad? Yeah, and I think there's been a lot of, yeah, exactly. There's probably been a lot of overreaction to this as well. I don't think in the grand scheme of things it's that big a deal. He probably made a mistake by not complying with the request to carry the pads. But at the same time, I think this kid is someone who, by and large, has been unfairly labeled as a problem child, as a guy with character issues. I think he's going to be a monster as a football player. And, you know, obviously he made a big mistake at Oklahoma State, but I don't think that's something that should label him for life as a, as a bad guy. I don't think he's a bad guy. Texans training camp just a few days away. Stay tuned for the latest here on SportsRadio610.com.